Good morning. I uh, thought I'd make another video and talk to you a little bit this morning. One thing I want to talk about is persistence. And that's what I tell all my veterans when I tell them about their claims, their VA benefit claims. How you doing? My name's Wolfie. And uh, I'm a veteran's advocate. I'm also a disabled American veteran. 100% disabled. Now, just because disability is a disability doesn't mean it's a disability that can be seen. A lot, of, a lot of disabilities that you can't see. Mine is mostly spinal. But getting back to what I want to tell you, um, it, it's persistence. All these veterans, they make these you know, they go file a claim, and the claim comes back tonight. And they just want to give up. Well, you can't do that. You have to work your claim. You have to gather evidence and show what you're stating in that claim is true. And your evidence has to come from, really, either civilian doctors, but preferably VA doctors. And you have to be persistent. You cannot give up. If you say piss on it and just give up because they've denied you, then they won. It's no skin off their back. It's you that's going to hurt as a veteran. Some of you veterans living out of Social Security out there, you're 60 and 70 years old and all you're drawing is $1,200 a month. Well, I'm here to tell you, I couldn't get by on that. Uh, I couldn't get by on it years ago when I didn't have my disabilities. It just, you know, if my wife wasn't working, I don't know what I would have done. We'd have been out on the street somewhere. We'd have lost everything we had because I couldn't work. But now, you know, I'm, 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 on a treatment with doctors and they're taking care of me and you know I'm taking meds and I get along all right I'm a little wobbly at times can't stay on my feet too long and next thing I know I end up on the floor or the ground wherever I'm at hang on that hmm I'm Jim Scout baby that shit anyway getting back to what I was talking about I was talking about persistence oh hell I better not sit that there I might run over to something but I'm sitting on one of them little stools that move around you know that's cause I don't move around real good so you have to adapt hang on a minute Good pipe, cup of coffee in the morning, set you straight. Wakes you up. Even when you want to go back to sleep, wakes you up. Makes you feel good. Anyway, you know, I've been doing this for some years, and I always, I run up on a veteran that just don't know how to pay attention. 
And if he was like that in the military, God help him. But, you know, I've been helping this little vet for six to eight years. Somewhere now. He submitted claims. It's been denied. He's lost paperwork. He don't know where his paperwork is. Blah, blah, blah. It's always something. And, and I love him to death. But I just, you know, I thought maybe because it's old. You know, when you get old, it's hard to follow instructions. That's unless you're sharp like me. <laughs> All right, anyway. If you just listen to what I tell you, he would have had this claim a long time ago. He would have got his decision back. It would have been all right. He's had multiple operations, knees, ears. He ain't got, I mean, you know, he's, he's wearing a hearing aid. So, cause I, so I just normally say ears. And uh, he's got glasses. He's got a thing in his heart. What do you call him? Uh, pacemaker? Yeah. Like that Indy car, you know, the pacemaker. He's got one of them in his heart. But anyway... Get back to what I was talking about. If you just listen to me and not give up, not lose your paperwork, you know, keep your paperwork in one spot. Keep it in the files, preferably in a briefcase, only dedicated to nothing but your VA claims, your Social Security claim. And, uh, you know, he was 70-something years old now. I was working two jobs at night in the summertime. Had a knee surgery. And the day before the knee surgery, he's out in 90 degree weather digging a ditch. Working. Because he couldn't get by. Well, I love him. But uh, you got to listen to the old wolf dog. You know, I'm not no certified BO, uh, you know, uh, veteran service officer. But you got to listen to me. I've been doing this for a long time. And if you do what I tell you to do, and you go see who I say you go see, it's going to work out. It's a little bit of time and persistence. You know? But I received a word this morning. After everything we done been through with him, trying to help him that he got got his VA decision back and I guess because he went to two lawyers now I don't know whether them lawyers were doing it for free or what they were doing but if a lawyer does it they're going to get 20% and that's always your last resort or unless you're just tired of messing with it, you want somebody else to do it, you're lazy. But um, of any kind of claim, it takes work, whether it's Social Security or VA, and they're going to turn you down. But you can't give up. What else you got? What else do you got? I mean, you know, It ain't like you losing out. A little bit of paperwork, some phone calls, and some going, some appointments. Going to doctors and going to see lawyers or whoever the uh, representatives are handling your case. But you can't give up. You got to keep going. I'm over here out of the frame. Hang on a minute. Hold on a second. I got to get that in. I wrote the other night, got bugs all over the horse here, and I gotta go to uh, American Legion meeting tonight, American Legion riders meeting, because I'm one of them riders, you know, and I don't like to go up there with bugs on my back, I mean, they're gonna be bugs after I get through, but at least they'll be clean starting out, right, that's what I thought.
Anyway, getting back to what I was talking about. Listen here, guys. I don't want to go on and on because, you know, I'm a Southern man and I have a tendency to do that. But my point is, you got to work your claim. Be persistent. Keep everything in files in a briefcase where you know where it's at. Make copies of everything and just be persistent on it. If, 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 if it's going to be, you know, approved or disapproved, it's going to depend on you. Nobody else can do it for you. Unless you hire a lawyer, then they're going to get 20% or more. But, hell, I'm just old wolf dog. What do I know, right? <laughs> All right, folks. They call me Wolfie. I love you. If you're a veteran, I love you even more. And I was glad talking to you this morning. Enjoyed having a cup of coffee with you and a smoke. Y'all take care of you. Yeah. Peace. Oh.